Welcome back to part two of your GameMaker Studio 2 basics tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few things that you need to know about objects. We're gonna actually kinda create a few things with Timothy here. And uh, I'm also gonna show you how to create an executable file for your project, and that way you can share it with friends. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So again, the last video I told you that uh, you have your workspace here, and you can navigate it by using the middle mouse button. Um, so you can just kind of move around just like this. You can uh, also uh, use the scroll wheel. You can hold control and use the scroll wheel and zoom in and out. <clears throat> So there's a lot of ways that you can kind of navigate your workspace. I'm going to close this tab for level one and uh, that'll give us some more room. Uh, okay, so you can also use these uh, to zoom in and zoom out and uh, yeah, all that stuff. I think there's another way. Uh, yeah, you can also hold the space bar. If you don't have a middle mouse button, you can hold the space bar and then just click, left click and drag around to navigate your workspace as well. Uh, that way you can just move around. And uh, again, you can just close these whenever you want. Uh, like here's our sprite and that was just our object that I just closed as well. Uh, you can close it whenever you want. Everything kind of saves pretty qu quickly in GameMaker Studio 2. So uh, let's open up our object player and you see something, well actually let's just kind of go through everything. Uh, so you, you see in the last video we assigned a sprite to our object so that's pretty important. Next is collision mask. Uh, this is something that you're going to use in games in the future. Uh, basically you can uh, kind of assign a sprite over the sprite that you're use that that the player sees. So the player can see Timothy, but we can actually have a much larger sprite that has to do with collisions. So like if another you know object runs into Timothy, uh, we could have a much larger collision uh, range, so to speak. So that's something we're going to talk about in future videos. You could also make the object invisible so he's there but then the players can't actually see him uh, you can make him solid which is something you want to get into when you're creating collisions like running into a wall and stuff like that uh, you can use physics game maker studio 2 does have a whole physics engine and if you want to use that physics and all those fancy smancy codes then you're gonna have to check this box uh, you can also make him a persistent object, which if he's persistent, that means he can travel through all the rooms. And basically right now, if you change rooms, uh, all the objects reset. And then only the objects that you've placed in the room from the room editor will appear in the game. But if an object is persistent, when you change rooms, that object will mysteriously travel to the other room. And so that's useful sometimes. Um, also, we have our events, which is this window right here. Uh, a parent object, and we'll talk more about that in the future. There's some more physics options. And then there's variable definitions, which uh, we'll again get into in another video. But that's kind of the important things that you need to know, so just keep those things in mind, and I'm gonna address all of those again in the future. Uh, not too important, really. You can kind of keep everything the way it is for now. Next, we have our, uh, we have our events. And uh, this events basically make up everything about your objects. Your events will have to do with the hit points, with the uh, movement, with the attacks, with everything that you want to add, jumping, everything is going to be an event. So to do that, you just click Add Event, and then you are presented with all these different objects. You can make a Create Event, which that's whatever code you want to run when the object is first created. So in other words, when the room starts, it creates your objects, and that's the codes that are gonna run. Whatever's in your create event is gonna be the first thing that runs. Uh, destroy, so whenever your object is destroyed or killed, um, it, it can run code. You have cleanup, we'll get to that in another video. You have your step uh, events, which uh, the most common is just step, and that's like everything that um, kind of like a, a like every you know your game is made up of frames so like you know a lot of games are 30 frames per second so that's basically the code that's going to be running every single frame of the game so that's like if you want to detect 
objects around you or, or whatever, uh, then you would want to place that in the step event because like every frame of the game it's going to be detecting whatever you want or running whatever code you want. And then you have begin step and end step and that's to run code before the step event and then end step is to run code after the step event. Pretty crazy, right? I mean, it's like like rocket science. And then you have your alarms, which we'll get into these in another video, but these will be your friends and they'll make you smile sometimes. Uh, you have your draw event, so this is cool because you can draw like your health bar above your player, you can draw text, uh, anything to do with drawing like your GUI or your user interface will have to do with draw events, and there's a bunch of them. Mouse events, so this is to do with clicking. Uh, your key events, so keyboard stuff, if you click a button then it does something. So that's like when you press it, um, when you are holding it down, uh, I believe, and then this is if you press it, and this is when you release it. So you have a whole bunch of different keyboard options. Gestures, so this is to do with touch screen, so that's kind of new with Game Maker Studio 2. Then you have your collision, so this is if you collide with another object, which we only have one object right now, and that's ourselves. so we're not going to use that right now, but you can collide with other objects and then run code. Like if I run into him, make him explode or something like that. Um, then we have other, which there's a whole bunch more right here. Uh, you can make code happen if you run outside the boundaries of your room. Uh, of course, there's different camera options here. There's t stuff to do with when your game starts or when your game ends, when like the game is closed. You can run code real quick uh, when your room starts or ends. So if like your object is persistent and you go to another room, you can run code. Or if the room ends, you can run code. Animation. So if you, your player, like if he waves his arms and then you want to run code at the end of that animation, like make him uh, spontaneously combust, yeah, you can do that. You can run some code. Uh, and then just some random other things that we will get into. And then some async events. So this has to do with networking, a lot to do with networking, uh, and other things, other nice little things, which is more advanced. But, you know, that's my job is to make you a pro, so... <laughs> course I'll be doing tutorials about that in the future so subscribe if you haven't already so again to add an event you just right click and click add event or you just click this button and uh, we're just going to make a create event and uh, actually no we're gonna delete this let's delete that I got a better idea we're gonna make a key pressed event and we're gonna say space so whenever we click space we're gonna run some code I'm gonna move over here so we can see everything so uh, it says insert description here so you can delete this if you want and um, or you can keep it and add a little description right here so I'm gonna say show message oops, caps lock, show message and uh, it should update over here yeah so now in my event you can see right there it says whatever I said right there so yeah that that's there and so you can write code in this editor. You can delete this. That served no purpose whatsoever. So we're going to write code. And uh, we're basically going to write this little code to show a message. Uh, and that's it's very very hard code. You'll never remember this. It's just show under slash message. And then we're going to put um, uh, parentheses. And then within the parentheses, we're going to put quotations. And then within the quotations, we're going to put our code. So we're just going to write, hello, YouTube. And that's it. That's our code. So now basically we're saying, whenever we click the space button, we're going to run this code. And that sums up events. So you do an event, and then you code whatever you want to happen when that event happens. So let's go ahead and test our game. And there's Timothy, and whenever we click the space button, we get a message that says, Hello, YouTube. And, uh, alright, that's it. Oh, no, I did tell you that I was going to show you how to then compile this game and create it, uh, an executable for you to share with your friends. Very easy, you just click build, and then you just click create executable. And then you can make it an installer, or you can make a zip. Now, I'm not gonna make an installer for what we just made here, but uh, we can make a zip, and then we'll just name it, yeah, basics. Actually, we'll name it Timothy, I guess. Click save. So, uh, that's gonna compile, and 
There we go, it opened it up for us. So there's our game, and we can extract that. And there it is, Basics 2, that's the name of our project. So I can double click, and it will run our game. And I can click Space and Hello YouTube. All right, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, please leave a comment in this video. Go ahead and tickle that like button if you haven't already. Show it some love. And again, this would be a very good time for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be doing videos extremely often on Game Maker Studio 2. Of course, this is the start of a new series, Game Maker Studio Beginner to Pro. So I'm going to take you from all the way from as if you don't know anything about Game Maker to coding like one of the pros. So if you like this video again, please leave a thumbs up and I appreciate that very much. And I'll see you next video.